When the whole Europe was busy clearing the debris left behind by the French Revolution and the disastrous wars of Napoleon, there arose in a small town of Savoy in southern France Father Peter Mary Mermia, a person of beautiful mind and heart. He was born on the 28th of August 1790 at Chaumont, not far from Annecy in Savoy. He was ordained priest on the 21st of March 1813. Deeply troubled by the growing indifference of his people on religious matters, Father Peter Mermia decided to found a congregation with the mission of spreading love of God and gentleness to the world and to bring about the renewal of Christian life by preaching parish missions, evangelizing people and educating the youth. It was on 24th of October 1838, Bishop Ray officially approved the congregation and christened it as Missionaries of St. Francis de Sales. They are called to follow St. Francis de Sales as their model and inspiration in their missionary endeavors. In 1860, the congregation received the final approval from Rome and its first constitutions were approved in 1899. Small step, but great stride. The tiny seed that was planted in 1838 has grown into a mighty tree with 1,347 professed members, 874 priests, 25 brothers, 448 scholastics, 68 novices, and 369 candidates. It is organized into 10 geographical provinces, namely Brazil, East Africa, England, Franco-Swiss, Nagpur, Northeast India, Pune, Southwest India, Southeast India, and Vishakapatnam. The center of all these provinces is located in Rome, where Superior General resides along with his counselors to assist him. An international congregation rooted in Annecy has spread its wings across 25 countries of the world today. Australia, Austria, Brazil, Cameroon, Chad, Chile, England, France, Germany, India, Ireland, Italy, Kenya, Mozambique, Namibia, Netherlands, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, South Africa, Switzerland, West Indies, Tanzania, Trinidad, Uganda, and the USA. The first batch of MSFS landed at Pondicherry in India on the 8th of September 1845 and the Congregation for the Evangelization of Peoples entrusted the Vicariate of Vishakapatnam to the MSFS on the 2nd of May 1848. Today, in India, 
The congregation works in 24 states. Inspired by Christ and impelled by love, and at the behest of Northeastern bishops, the first batch of MSFS fathers, George Parampukatil, Kurian Patimakal, Jos Mundali, and Joseph Kirakevidu set foot on northeastern soil on 18th of September 1975. The first time I heard about MSFS fathers was from Father Kuripil and also other missionaries who used to come to Poonavali Samneri on their way from Vaishavatanam to Kerala. I heard about their missionary zeal and that certainly impressed me much. In 1969, I became Bishop of Tezpur. Then I went to Europe to look for help for the building up of the diocese. And then Reverend Father Anthony Mugandhottam was in Europe, especially in Switzerland. And he was of great help to me to look for fund for the building up of Tespur Mission. He took me into different parts of Europe and he was very helpful to see that we got the necessary fund in the beginning stage when the diocese I had nothing to, to rely upon. Later on, I was instrumental in bringing the MSFS missionaries to the Tespur mission. I met the Superior General and uh, promised all help and I stood as a guarantee for them in the mission of Northeast and because of my support and encouragement, they decided to come to the Tespur mission. And now they are working in many parishes, in many dioceses of the Northeast. And their missionary effort is very much appreciated by all. Northeast India, a cluster of seven states called the Seven Sisters, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, and Tripura. Nestled in the foothills of the Himalayas, the Northeast provides the boundaries of the Indian subcontinent with Bhutan, Bangladesh, Tibet, Myanmar, and China. It is a land of down tilt mountains and green spread valleys known for its cultural diversity and magical richness.
This wonderland of dazzling variety enchants one with its pristine natural beauty. And at its sight, one almost spontaneously sings Psalm number 8. Indeed, the creation sings the glory of God. The mystic of the mountain seems to be blended by the charm of the people, ever so colorful, ever so friendly. But beyond the mountain and beyond the splash of cultural colors and festivities, there is a spirit that lives in and breathes in Northeast India, a spirit of endurance mothered by the vicissitudes of life in nature. On the other side, it is replete with poverty, illiteracy, unemployment, ethnic conflicts and violence. Amidst all these clouds is the silver lining of the triumph of human spirit. Celebration of life comes naturally to the people of Northeast India. Such celebrations make their lives a joy to behold even in the midst of their pains and struggles. Desire for God and religion comes naturally to the people living in difficult conditions. Can a loving, caring God abandon them in their search? And God indeed send them Christian missionaries. It was only in 1890 the Catholic missionaries began to work in Northeast India. Salvatorians from Bamberg in Germany were the first missionaries in Northeast India. Father Hoffenmuller was their leader. Over the years, the Catholic faith was kindled and nurtured by several missionaries like Jesuits, Salatians and Francalians. Several congregations of the religious sisters also pitched their tents in the new vineyard of the Lord. Today, there are 15 dioceses in the Northeast. Jesus has indeed gained entry into the hearts of the people here with his gospel of love and forgiveness. But gospel still has a long way to go, more souls to win, and more laborers with fire of God's love in their hearts are needed. The Francalian missionaries with their hearts aflame to serve the Lord pitched firmly their tent in this rich vineyard of the Lord. Thirty-six years on, forty Francalian mission stations dot the northeastern landscape covering seven states of the region and West Bengal with the apostolate of pastoral care renewal of Christian life, education, social welfare, health care, family welfare, youth mission, children's home, media and the formation of the young.
The provincial office of Francilians in Northeast India is housed at Guwahati. From here, the provincial superior and his council animate the life and mission of Francilians working in Northeast India province. The contemplation of the divine and constant union with the Eucharistic Lord at the altar is the first and foremost duty of a Francilian. Deep personal relationship with God enables us to form a community of love, care, mutual respect, support and collaboration with one another in the service of God and humanity. A life of fraternal communion and joyful living of one's vocation is the first act of mission for a Francilian missionary. Living together in intercultural communities, sharing the richness of various cultures and getting involved in the concern of the people. We witness to the reign of God in the world. Empowered by the liberating force of the Paschal Mystery, we focus our attention to build up Christian and human communities. Pastoral care of Christians is one of the highest priorities for Francilians. The Sunday liturgy is one of the primary means. Meaningful celebrations of the Eucharist holds the center stage. The Sunday gatherings are also occasions of catechesis.
ha ki sinten ki baning kong bat ba ar ba uktrua hangi iwe pe iwe ba don bun ki jaka haying jong ukpa bat wong ngan le ban pin kre na kebenta jong phi iwe pe iwe mai ba mai ayo me ka somosa ami isoba bedra ge unu sanga bisikul ge Indi bayi sote kasin de ba walwai kuramu akan bi bisi ba hotin kaza Ola parishes organize annual retreats to help the people to come together and to form themselves into a community of deep faith devotion and sharing it is also a time for religious instructions and reception of sacraments Popular piety and devotions are introduced to strengthen the faith of our Christian communities. Village touring is the primary means of evangelization in northeast india we undertake rigorous and tedious village touring to meet the people in their homes The villagers are very simple and hospitable. They receive us with great joy expressed through dance and music.
Once we reach the villages, it is time for faith formation, teaching of catechism for various groups and administration of sacraments. Going through the rough and tough road leading to the interior villages is a perfect test of one's missionary vocation. By our witnessing life, we make the Word of God active and alive in Christian families. We visit the sick and pray over them. The villagers are very prayerful people and they believe in the power of prayer. As most of the villagers don't have proper church buildings, mass and prayers are often conducted in makeshift sheds. Every mission has its catechists who join the priest in the task of spiritual formation of the people. They are well formed in faith and morals through monthly meetings, input sessions and discussions. They are also sent 
for catechetical courses. Come to me, all who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Renewal of Christian life was one of the main reasons for the foundation of MSFS. Hence, the renewal ministry forms a vital part of our mission. Francilians are actively involved in preaching retreats and other renewal programs. Our renewal center at Umroy attracts thousands from all over the Northeast India. They listen to the Word of God with rapt attention. The services conducted here fill the participants with a great spiritual joy and a taste of the divine. In almost every mission, education has been identified as a must and we have embarked upon it as a primary social apostolate to impart knowledge and values. Several missions have full-fledged primary and secondary schools on campus where the students are given intellectual and personality formation. Charity is nothing but love of God and love of neighbor, love of our fellow being. You know, God has loved all of us and that's the reason He has created us with various talents, abilities, and capacities. And therefore, recognizing that God-given gift, we love God in return through our service to our fellow being.
composed of only one cell and multicellular organisms are those which have many cells. So now depending on the content of the cell, we have divided the cell into three categories. So now we can see here, like uh, a summarized comparison of three types of cells. Eukaryota. The type of cell, bacterial cell. We see to the overall development of the students, including their talents, by conducting various extra and co-curricular activities. Our educational apostolate also seeks to empower the agents of education too. Regular training programs and workshops are held for the teachers of our schools. God's gratuitous gift and His unconditional love can be appreciated more when we stand before a less fortunate one. Our evening schools and tuition centers take care of the educational needs of the poorest of the poor in the locality. A very significant event in the educational ministry has been the setting up of a graduation college at Alo in Arunachal Pradesh. It is the sure sign of our desire to provide quality higher education to the less fortunate children of Arunachal Pradesh.
the college is in its infancy stage of growth and development. In rural northeast India, attaching a hostel to the school is considered a must to provide education to the children living in remote villages. Francalians in northeast have taken this ministry as a challenge. These children are well looked after by our fathers and brothers to carry the message of love and service to their home. With good atmosphere and with good surrounding and good understanding between fathers and boarding masters and you all between us, we are able to smile, we are able to be happy. Yes? Yes. Examinations really need focus, focus of the mind. And our mind can, can be focused when our relationship with the God is okay. So that's why you have come to the chapel to pray. So all of you close your eyes <coughs> and deeply pray for a good examination today. In what I have done, in what I have to do, and I have persevered in writing all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord. The school dropouts have a place to qualify themselves through our vocational training institutes. Here, they learn various skills which enable them to find a job for themselves.
Another priority for the Francilians is the health ministry. With hearts burning with compassionate love. And thanks to the commitment of religious sisters working with them, the Francilians have set up dispensaries and health centers in several missions that go a long way in providing immediate medical assistance to the sick and the suffering. Besides providing medical help, the sisters and fathers organize several health camps to promote awareness on health and hygiene, mother and child welfare. Catch them young in every social empowerment the key to success is winning over the youth. For the youth are the hope for a better society. You give them dreams and they help the society soar, whether it is in faith, morals or social uplift. Francilians indeed catch them young. Care for the family is close to the heart of a Francilian missionary, for family is the hub of faith formation and moral living. Francilian Communications Guwahati has been helping the various congregations and dioceses of Northeast India in recording their life and activities in video. It has produced a number of documentary films for the pastoral and educational needs of the church here in Northeast India. Nothing can beat the power of written words. Several books and pamphlets on faith, morals, and prayers have been published in English and several Northeastern languages that have been well received by the public. More endeavors are in the offing. Effecting a stable change in the society and promoting an integral development of the people is what social work is all about. Hence, a Francilian missionary in social work aims at bringing about the desired social change by empowering women and marginalized groups in society through leadership training, economic empowerment and awareness programs. Face India, our social work wing, organizes and manages such activities effectively. Key to success in any social apostolate is the empowerment of women. Our social service centers organize at regular intervals awareness and empowerment programs to promote social conscientization and gender sensitization. Formation of self-help groups is another way of making the women self-reliant and sustainable. Regular savings and monthly meetings have helped the women to be sociable responsible and empowered.
Taking the clue from the animators, these groups have started various income generating activities. Our tailoring centers in rural areas cater to a large number of young girls preparing to live their specific role in their family and society. Our computer centers help many young boys and girls to learn the needed computer skills free of cost. As disciples of Christ, we make His compassion our own, which led Him to the heart of the human drama. In the line of preferential option for the poor, Empowerment of the vulnerable section of the society, especially children, are our main concern. स्कूल जाओ तो वाले शिक्षा के जरूरती के बीमार जानो बाहुले तो रहेंगे दवाई बीरों के जरूरत चाहे आई नहीं के तो ऐसे बोला हाँ वो है के हक बोले ना Children are vulnerable to all kinds of dangers, risk and abuse, so we safeguard and provide them. With adequate love, care, and education. Carefully drafted rules of life and documents for various stages form the directives for the formation of the Francilians. Youngsters with the seeds of love of God and fellow men in their hearts, who have been identified through vocation promotion, come to our minor seminaries as candidates. By living together with their peers under the guidance of senior fathers, they learn the basics of community life based on Christian charity. This is also the time for diligent academic studies. Here, they pick up various skills 
that will make them effective missionaries in the future. After this stage comes the novitiate, the real formation of a Francalian begins with the novitiate. It is a time for deepening one's vocation and to experience the Francalian way of life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Here, the novices concentrate on learning the history of the congregation, spirituality of our patron, and the apostolic vision and mission of the founder. At the end of the novitiate, the novices make their first profession of vows. I, Patiko Isaac, Elena May, for the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I vow to God in the presence of Mary, Mother of Sorrows, and Saint Francis de Sales, the special patrons of the congregation of the missionaries of Saint Francis de Sales, and before you, Father, to observe chastity, poverty, and obedience for one year. Suvithya College, Bangalore one of the prestigious institutes of philosophy in India is the place where our scholastics undertake their philosophical studies with the help of eminent professors and formators. Through his philosophical studies, a scholastic is exposed to a wide variety of perspectives and worldviews that call for critical and systematic responses on his part. The reason they want to do that is if indeed you could show that, then in terms of science, a kind of Western science which 
manages to explain how brains work, how bodies work, how molecules work, how atoms work, and so on, form a unified system. You no longer have to deal with some other realm that you can't explain. Christ to whom be glory forever and ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Sunday of the year. The liturgy reminds us and invites us to bear witness to Christ, the crucified Christ, without being afraid, without being hesitant, by being light to the world and soul to the earth. The period of Regency gives a hand-on experience of the missions. Accompanied by the local community, the candidates learn what it costs to be a Francalian in action. The Francalians in Northeast do theological studies at Orient's Theological College Shillong. The Francalians have been always excelling in their performance at Orient's. What is the meaning and nature of dialogue? The meaning and the dialogue, uh, nature of dialogue. Second point we will deal with the, what is interreligious dialogue? And how do we understand? religious dialogue, inter-religious dialogue. Therefore, what is the meaning of inter-religious dialogue? On Sundays, the candidates of MSFS Study House undertake many outreach mission programs. They visit the families, organize catechism classes, minister to the orphans and the street children. 
help the sick and the suffering. During the theology stage comes the significant moments of perpetual profession and diaconate. May their conduct exemplify your commandments and lead your people to imitate the purity of life. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you now are. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Each moment fills his heart with the fire of God's love, which culminates in the event of his being ordained a priest of the Lord. After the heart of the Master, a priest forever to love and serve. And finally, Francilian ministry unto themselves, the formation for mission. Our formation aims at preparing and initiating our fathers to live our apostolic commitment in the midst of the world. We imbibe the spirit of our congregation and reinterpret the significance of religious life for our times. The answer for our incompleteness is our communing with God, our belongingness to God, the quality of our relationship with God, the quality of our belongingness to the community. Praise the Lord. Through monthly recollections and annual retreat, we let God transform us into the servants of the Word. The awareness of belongingness to God. And then Paul says, in all circumstances, give thanks to God. In, Paul does not say, give thanks to God for all circumstances. It may be difficult to thank God for all circumstances, but in all circumstances. Ask yourself, what is the circumstance in which you are placed today? Maybe the circumstance in which you are, the mission in which you are, the place in which you are, the community in which you are, is not a happy one. It's not a joyful place. It's not where you really want to be. But Paul says, give thanks in that circumstance because God has placed you in that circumstance so that God can fulfill God's plan for you. At regular intervals, animation programs are organized to help the priests to be more effective in their ministry. It's very important that you learn how to deal with your loneliness. As John was saying, you know, he was feeling lonely and uh, he has been struggling to deal with that loneliness. It's a struggle. Dealing with loneliness is a struggle, especially that's why we need to have some kind of concepts with us. You know, who feels lonely? Our false self or our true self. It's our false self that feels lonely. When you are in your true self, you can never, the loneliness is always for, it's a longing for your community with God. And God continues to reach out to his people through these men with fire of God's love in their hearts, striving to bring all people of goodwill into fellowship of love, friendship, and peace wherever they go. 
The Francilian work in close collaboration with all people of goodwill and they have this to say about them. I am amazed at the growth of the MSFS fathers in Northeast India and edified by the great work they have done in the region during the last 35 years. Though they are relatively new to the region, they have already vocations, vocations from the various tribes of Northeast India and they have taken up work even in the remotest Cornish, like in Arunachal or in Tripura, aside from other central places. I am edified by the, their commitment to pastoral situations. They are close to the people. They have a pastoral interest, pastoral commitment. And over the years they have helped many young people to emerge in their life and many communities to strengthen themselves in their faith. I have great appreciation for MSFS fathers because they are spiritually oriented people. We have close association with them here in Hattigao. The fathers from the provincial house come to say Mass for our community and we find always that they have something solid to share with us. The way they offer Mass, the way they conduct themselves at the altar is very meaningful. I've known the MSFS fathers for the last 15 years and in my association with them I found that they are very friendly, very sociable, very approachable so that is why uh, we, we can go to them at any time for help and they, I found that they are really a model of a true Christian, a true friend and a true guide. As one family united in Christ, we fondly remember our confreres who gave their yesterdays for our tomorrow. Now, having traced the humble roots of the Francilians down the ages and having traveled to our missionary outreach during the last 36 years in the Northeast India, we thank you for collaborating with us to make the good God known and loved over the hills and valleys. And with him, this journey of love continues.